welcome everyone to HMAS Waterhen. Um, for those of you who are first time visitors, Waterhen's the home of the Navy's Mine Warfare and Clearance Diving Forces. Uh, the ship you see behind you is HMAS Yarra. It's a Mine Hunter Coastal. Uh, the Mine Hunter Coastals are made of reinforced plastic with a unique single skin solid hull. It has no ribs or frames, and provides high underwater shock resistance and very low magnetic and noise signatures. Uh, when I looked up the Ford Performance Racing Team specs, I couldn't actually understand half the ones on the, on the page, so I'll, I'll leave that to Tim if, if he wants to go into, into those. But what I really want to say is that these vessels uh, and the diving team that the Navy supports here are part of the most advanced engineering and design elements in our whole Navy. And they form the perfect backdrop for this morning's launch of the Navy Engineering Initiative. So on that note, I'd like to invite the Head of Naval Engineering, Rear Admiral Uzzle, to commence the launch. Thanks, Jason. Today at HMAS Waterhen, Ford Performance Racing and Navy are combining to re reveal one of the Ford Performance Racing cars that will wait race this weekend at the Telstra 500 in Sydney. In a year in which we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the granting of the title Royal Australian Navy, we are pleased to be in partnership with Ford Performance Racing, showcasing our identity through this very fine motor car. And when you see it unveiled, you will notice that it's carrying the number 100 in special recognition of the significance of the centenary the conferring of the title Royal. Chaz Mostert, driving for Ford Performance Racing in the Fujitsu Series, will be behind the wheel of the Navy branded car this weekend. Chaz is a very exciting young racing prospect. I'm wondering whether he actually has a license. <laughs> uh, but in his, first performance, in his first appearance for Ford Performance Racing at Sandown recently, Chaz achieved two second place finishes out of three races in the Fujitsu V8 Supercar Series. And his first ever V8 Supercar round podium finish third behind Andrew Thompson and Jack Perkins. And whilst I'm on the subject of supporting our very best young prospects, today we're excited to announce another initiative that is being entered into by Navy and Ford Performance Racing. The race at the Sydney Olympic Park Street Circuit represents the final event in the 2011 V8 Supercar Racing season. But it also heralds the beginning of an association between Navy and Ford Performance Racing that will endure for the next five years. On behalf of the Chief of Navy, I am very pleased to announce the establishment of an outplacement scheme for Navy mechanics, as we call them marine technicians, to work as members of the Ford Performance Racing Maintenance Support Crew throughout the 2012 V8 supercar season. Behind any successful V8 race car is a highly focused and close-knit team capable of working under pressure with high technology equipment to win in demanding environments. There are direct parallels between the work of a V8 supercar team and the expect expectations we have of our marine and electronics technicians in meeting Navy Navy's mission of being able to fight and win at sea. The purpose of this initiative is to expose two of our marine technicians each year over the five year period to that environment and to share experiences as Navy builds its own te technical excellence. I want to thank Tim Edwards from Port Performance Racing Damon Hill from Signature Series Group and Lieutenant Commander Don Hogo for providing the opportunity for our technical sailors to gain some unique experience that we will expect them to pass on when they return to the Navy workforce. I'll now hand over to Tim for performance racing. Thank you, Michael. Uh, first of all, let me say what a great pleasure it is to be here today for the members of the team and Chase and you know, uh, it's a great honour to be here at HMAS Waterkin today. Uh, the Navy is not only one of the pillars of our community, but of our Defence Force, but they're also ambassadors for our country wherever they are in the world. Uh, it's a great honour and pleasure that FBR are able to be associated with these group of people, uh, particularly when they're so respected around the world. I know our two co co collaborations, outlined by Michael, uh, will be extremely beneficial to everybody involved. The many synergies between the Navy and motor racing. Primarily, both are built on the support and development of young talent. 
by jointly supporting Chaz this weekend at the Sydney Tasha Top 500, both the Navy and FBR are helping to develop one of the brightest young talents in motor racing that this country has seen for many, many years. Despite his youth, which you might deserve to touch that, and I can assure you he does have a license, uh, Chaz embodies all the things that we believe are key to developing a star in the future, both on and off the track. He's brave, mature, a bit of a larrikin, traits that I'm sure are also central to the develop development of young uh, naval cadets. Maybe not the larrikin part, but certainly a larrikin. Uh, on behalf of everyone, I'd like to wish Chaz and Team Navy all the success of this weekend's Total 500. Secondly, I'm extremely proud the Navy has taken up our offer to place two of the mechanics with FBR uh, every year for the next five years. The rear admiral is out, Lieutenant Commander Don Hogarth, have both been very supportive and I'm sure will all reap the benefits of this program. The need for technical excellence is something FBR and the Navy share, so I know these and those in the outplacement scheme will benefit from our program. These marine technical sailors will join our crew and learn how we work as a team by getting to work in the finest strength machine in this country. So we take pride in teaching the next generation to be leaders in their chosen field. Though I'm sure as a team, we'll learn valuable skills from them as well. Thank you and good day. I just asked Tim and Rear Admiral Russell if they'd like to unveil Ford Performance Racing's new V8 Supercar. Admiral Uzzel and uh, Tim are now going to go into HMAS Yarrett um, where they'll be signing the contracts for the agreement, uh, which as a supplier, I know is always one of the most important parts of the, of the day.
that's wonderful. Yeah. Cows don't fall in the water. Yeah, almost. <laughs>